Hey guys, this is Bluey back here with another video. So today is going to be a Blu-ray hunting video. Um, now there is one thing I want to pick up today, and it's not Toy Story 4. I know you guys have been saying, why not pick up Toy Story 4? I don't have the money for that at the moment. But um, yeah, I've got one thing I want to pick up, so I'm going to have to go to H&V to pick that one up. See what you can see, CX and Poundland. I never know those two stores, but I do enjoy when they deliver. I don't know if I've delivered today. I mean, I went to this, these two, this the CX and Poundland quite recently, so I don't think they're going to have anything new, but if they did... I'd be very happy. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the Blu-ray hunting. If you want to leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. And guys, let's get into the Blu-ray. The big one this week was Toy Story 4. Um, this is actually in my top 10 of the year. Absolutely love this movie. So there is the regular Blu-ray. Here's the 3D for 1999. Um, I don't have a 3D player, so obviously can't pick that one up, but it would look lovely in 3D. Brightburn Blu-ray. Heard mixed things about this one. It does look kind of interesting, but again, not heard very good things. Many Black International as well on Blu-ray. I believe another recent release was the new Child's Play. I have no interest in that film, but I did hear it was decent. Dead Center, a new Arrow video release. Men in Black International 4K. Heard really bad things about this one. Not going to be picking it up. Toy Story 4, 4K for $26.99. Very pricey. I know that actually the original three got um, 4K releases. Brightburn on 4K. Um, that is an h &E exclusive, I believe. And also Scarface, that lovely slipcover. I already have the regular Blu-ray, so I probably won't pick that one up. Um, also Red Heat with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Frozen. Although I don't like the film, that slipcover is gorgeous. So in the DVD section, we do have Toy Story 4. The DVD doesn't, doesn't come with a slipcover, um, but I do love the artwork. Men in Black International DVD does come with a slip. Um, a few other new ones down here. Queen's Corgi. This was a really weird film. Well, I've seen it. looks really strange. Not actually for kids, I've heard, but yeah. Queen's Corgi. No interest in that one, obviously. And Brightburn DVD as well. And down here, we do Three from Hell, the new Rob Zombie film. Don't really, don't really like Rob Zombie's films, but that one apparently is decent. Also Titans and The Haunting of Hill House, which I don't know anything about, is an HMV exclusive though. Terminator 2 Judgment Day on Blu-ray was what I came for today. Only $4.99 with any purchase. I'm going to try and find the cheapest Blu-ray possible and pick that up. Now In Bruges is actually one of my favourite comedies of all time. It's a hilarious film. Love this box set. It's $22.99, which is a tad pricey, but when this one goes down in price, Definitely going to pick it up since it's such a great film on Netflix out now if you actually want to check it out. A few other movies I'm interested in are Drive Across Concrete. I did pick this one, this one up in America, but I do need to give it a watch. I'm still actually heard it's really good. Do some discounted 4Ks in the um, bargain section like Men in Black 3, Head of Transylvania, T2, Trainspotting, Dark Tower. They do have Battle Royale in here in CEX for £8, the hour of video release. We also have Black Christmas as well, the 101 um, release. I um, don't have any interest in those films. Also, um, Black Moon Rising as well, and other Arrow video titles in CX. Do seem to have a lot of um, Arrow video titles. Deadpool, regular Blu ray, do love that slipcover. Also, they do have Casablanca, regular Blu ray for £4, which is a really good price. Also, Django Unchained Steelbook. Um, I do love that film, and it's a really nice Steelbook. I do have the regular Blu ray though, and the Dark Knight Trilogy on 4K. Still can't believe I've not even watched Us. Like this is, was actually one of my most anticipated movies of the year, and I missed it in cinemas. In Pounder now, not seeing too many new titles. Um, I think there are a few, but really all the same stuff. We did Greenland in 3D. Do already have that at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed those Blu-ray segments. A really successful trip to H&V. CX and Pounder didn't really have anything that interested me. Although Pounder did have actually have a lot of films. There was nothing really there that I'd, re I'd either already got all of it or it just didn't interest me. But I did get two things in H&V and I did get exactly what I wanted to get. Um, I didn't, unfortunately, didn't get any of the new releases. Now, Toy Story 4, as much as I wanted to pick up the 4K of it, I don't have the money at the moment for that. So I'm putting going to wait for the price to drop. It will probably drop, usually in CX after three weeks of any release, the 4K goes down to about 20, 18 pounds. So I'll probably wait for that and pick that one up then. Or I may actually get the Steelbook, but I do believe the artwork for the Steelbook is really bad. It's just really boring. And I think the artwork on the um, 4K slip cover is way nicer. My first pickup was basically a filler. And that was um, Passengers for 249. Now what I mean by filler is um, basically a movie that I bought so I could get a deal on the other one. Sometimes H&V does a deal where they have a movie that's 499 with any purchase or 999 with any purchase. In my case, it was 499. Um, and this one was just the cheapest Blu-ray I could find. And surprisingly, actually, I do actually want to watch this film. And I 
I, I have bid on this one on eBay before, so I'm really happy to pick this one up for 249. The slip cover is really nice. Um, it's a really nice slip cover, and actually their eyes like kind of glow. And yeah, really happy with this one. Um, I've heard mixed things about the film, but I am going to give it a go. I do like Chris Pat. Jennifer Lawrence is a bit hit and miss, but she has been in some great films. And yeah, this one has it, it's it's a film that I've again heard mixed things about, but I will check it out. And yeah. How to pick it up and obviously for 249 basically the price of Blu-ray and Pound and I'll take that. And now the one that I would bait I literally went into town for, and that was Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Since I'm going to watch Terminator Dark Fate, I thought I need to watch Terminator 2, obviously. And I hadn't watched this film and I did it, watched it last night. So actually I'm filming this the day after I actually went Blu-ray hunting, which is kind of strange because I never do that. Um but yeah. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, watched it yesterday, I have a movie night for it, I did say that on my Instagram, I have a movie night for this one, and I may actually do a movie um, cinema trip for Dark Fate, depending on how what I think of the film, if it's not good, I'll probably just do an Instagram post, if it's really good, I'll do a movie review actually on my, on my YouTube, but yeah, did get this for 4 9 so in total 7 50 for these two films, and um, yeah, I won't say any of my thoughts on the film, I'll leave that all for the video and yeah really happy with that i do love the slip cover this was the last one with the actual slip cover all the others didn't have the slip cover and i was really keen to get the slip cover because that is just beautiful it's so shiny so nice the 4k was 9.99 but i've heard the transfer is really bad the 4k so i just stuck with the blu-ray and yeah really happy with this one and yeah those are basically both my pickups for today i didn't pick up anything else Men in Black International didn't interest me in any way. Um, I, I love the first one. The second one was a bit bad. The third one was good. Um, and the new one just looked terrible. And apparently, apparently it actually was really bad. Um, and then a few other new things. But yeah, um, Terminator 2 was the thing I wanted to get. And Toy Story 4 I will get in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little short Blu-ray hunting video. I will have a big one up um, later on in the week. I actually went to York last week. Um, but I've saved the segments for that. So I'm going to upload that one this week. Um, because I actually went to on holiday and I went blue hunting in York. It was a, it's a great city. I went to H and V six and two pound and so it was a really big hunt. I got some really great pickups, so definitely check in for that. It'll probably be uh, maybe Friday, Saturday that would be up. And if you're the, I'd need to do a top ten comic, comic book movies list as well. Um, because I really feel like I need to make that video again because the last one wasn't very good. But yeah, guys, that's the end of my blue hunting video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Also, if you could subscribe, that'd be amazing. I hope you guys like my pickups. Really, really happy with this. And actually quite happy with passengers as well. So you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.